I'm not a natural in front of the camera. I'm, I'm actually quite awkward at the start. If you watch my older videos, which I hope you don't, <laughs> um, I'm not natural. I'm bad at speaking. In the beginning, I just told myself, okay, you need to switch into a persona. You need to be more hype because I'm an introvert, so I'm quite soft-spoken, you know, when I was growing up. I started off doing music, so I wanted to, you know, like, the early ages of YouTube, there's a lot of like, you know, the YouTube stars doing like covers and stuff. So I, I have no background with photography, filmmaking, like zero. Literally, when you know, my friends are traveling with me, right, I'll just copy whatever they are taking. Even though I have my guitar here, but it's so rusty. Is it out of tune? Let me try. Yeah. Still in tune? Like, music was my life. Uh, music will always be my first love and it still translates to filmmaking because filmmaking you need music. And I think my background in music helps me to be more intentional with the music that I use and hopefully that translates to the work. Lah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so rusty just like the guitar strings. One day, a couple of friends, like, we were inspired by Wong Fu Productions. So, um, yeah, they were like the, you know, the top tier YouTubers back then. And we just wanted to create, like, funny skits or, you know, mini short films. And we were just inspired by that. And then that's how I kind of picked up the camera. And then after that, I got my first DSLR. And then I also was very inspired by this YouTuber called Devin Supertram. Back then, he was making a lot of cinematic, travel videos with the glide cam and whatnot. So it was it was a very unique style that I think a lot of people were very enchanted by. As a kid I didn't travel a lot. So I was very inspired to just go to beautiful places and just capture cinematic footage as well. First of all, I need to prepare like the story for the trips, like what kind of angle I want to film for, research about the place, the shots that I want to get, and then uh, plan out my script if I have to, like my intro. And then of course the gear, essential to create a story, so make sure everything's working. People just assume everything just works. I once forgot to bring up my drone battery, so in the end I couldn't use my drone. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the challenge because I'm a solo creator. I don't have a team, right? So there's no one there to cover me or to get like extra angles. It's just myself. So if I'm down, right, everything is down, la, which is cannot, la, must still push through. La. Just whack Panadol and just iron it through. It does break my back a bit. Uh, carrying all this for years. Drone, you know, GoPro, everything will be on this bag. And then my main camera, which is this one. This one is my main camera, which I will need to have quick access to. This will be in a sling bag. Whether you have a good day or bad day, whether you're tired, I mean, we have the flexibility of like postponing lah, but I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to make sure we make it for the deadline. Consistency is probably the hardest when, especially if you don't have ideas, you run out of ideas, or things don't work out, you fall sick, and then you don't have videos, then you feel very shitty for not having videos. Like one day, I mean, honestly, of course we'll feel butthurt lah. Like, hey, how come nobody already? That's just normal human reaction. Um, or if the views drop, then like, hey, how come nobody care about me already? Um, I think it's very normal. And I'm learning to deal with it. I'm trying to find more internal alignment rather than to seek external validation. Just so, oh, got people watch, comment, and I make. If you're basing your happiness on external stuff, 
then it's gonna be very miserable because you cannot control anything that's external. Hmm? Okay la. Aya. Put it on first. The only family I mean I travel with my wife. During my honeymoon, I had a job, la. like I have to some have some deliverables to do. When I have to do retakes, that kind of thing. So I need to capture a video first. Then after that, oh, I want to take some photos. Then after that, I want to take IG stories. Then it's like there's a lot of taking of the same spot, the same thing. So definitely she'll get a bit irritated, la. But I'm thankful that she's quite understanding for whatever I'm doing, la. Definitely at times I feel really, really tired. Like I'm like so done with filming. And yeah, I do feel tired when I, I there's a line to it lah. So when I keep shooting and shooting, then I'll realize, okay, I'm so tired. Let's just film whatever I need to film. Don't film too much and then give yourself a break. When you're not making videos, what do you usually do? Playing games, <laughs> mobile games. I guess doing boring stuff like going to the movies if there's good movies around. Uh, going out to have a good meal. Uh, surf skating. I like to surf skate. And then exercising lah. Like if I can, you know, I would like to go for a swim and just chill out, clear my mind. I? <laughs> uh, okay, la, I'm not. Of course, I when I'm like really by myself, I'm just like chill and editing my video. <laughs> it took me years to cultivate something that now it's more of an extension of my personality. Like um, when cameras are on, then I would turn the switch up a bit, be more engaging. So I would say yes, in a way, it's a bit more of a persona. But now it's just an extension of who I am, who I want to express, and how I want to express myself um, when I film my videos. It's just goals that I set for myself. I need to upload this video by when. I mean, there's no real big goals other than the Airbnb. Like, that's like my next big goal or like, I don't know when that will come into fruition. Maybe five years, ten years, maybe next year. <laughs> Hopefully, I, I get to have an Airbnb space that I can have everyone or people who follow me to just have a good escape la, and enjoy themselves and also for me to have a holiday home, kind of. So that's like the next manifestation and hopefully I can get to realise it soon. But I need to earn more money first. <laughs>